Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's look at using the new Scribble feature on iPad OS 14. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 750 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a new feature in iPad OS 14 is the ability to use your Apple Pencil and write instead of type. And the great thing about this is it works virtually anywhere that you would type. So not just when you're writing a large piece of text or in the Notes app. It will work in browser fields. It will work when you're composing email. Just about anywhere. So as an example let's start with Mail. Some place you might normally need to write. So go into Mail and here's a new message. Now you would expect that this would work in the body of the message so I can write that out. But it also works in the To field. So you can see a few things there. First it will work anywhere like I said. Second it will translate the letters you write into text. And third I've got atrocious handwriting. So now let's write out a subject. And then we can continue to write something in the body. So it's doing a lot of different things there. One of the things it's doing is it's not just looking at the letters that you're writing but in the context of all the other letters to form a word that is spelled correctly. And also at the words around it to maybe guess what the word is. So with my bad handwriting it's looking at a lot of those words around it to figure out exactly what word I'm trying to scratch out. Now you can look at the controls here at the bottom of the screen to see even more things. You've got controls that you would normally see at the top of the keyboard but down here at the bottom. You even have an undo button there and redo on the left. And you can bring up a little keyboard there to actually tap things out with the pencil as well. This is useful when you need to type special characters and things like that. You also have the ability to tap the three dots here and jump to pencil settings and also turn on something called Auto Minimize. Now Auto Minimize will automatically take these controls and put them into a little button. You could do it manually by using your finger and dragging the little line at the top and you could drag it into the corner there. You could also drag it back out or simply if it's in the corner tap it and it will come back out. You could also drag and put this on the side or on the other side. You just got to drag that little line that's a handle to do one of those things. Now of course you can use this in word processing apps like for instance in Pages. So you can see how it converts that to text. Now there are a few special commands that you can do with the Apple Pencil. For instance if you want to select things you can just draw a line through them. So I could draw a line through all of this and you can see how it selects them. You could also circle something to select it which is a lot easier if you've got more than one line of stuff to select. If you select something and then write near it you can replace something. So you can see it made a mistake here. There's one word that's wrong. So let me select it and then I'll write the correction. Also you could draw a vertical line to combine two words or separate them. So for instance if I wanted to combine these two words I could do it like that and if I wanted to separate them I use the same thing. And if you want to delete something you simply just scribble it out. Now there's some extra functionality in Notes. So let's go into Notes here. Now we can use Scribble just like before but you could also draw in Notes. So notice at the bottom you have all these controls for drawing and the first pen here has the letter A in it. That's the Scribble pen. So when I have that selected it will translate what I write into text. But if I switch to a regular pen then when I write it won't translate it into text. But it still does a little more than just allowing you to draw. Let me show you. Okay so it looks like a regular drawing. But it actually knows what you've written. So for instance if I go back out to my notes here and I do a search you could see it finds that note. It finds that word in there even though it's written out in a drawing and not regular text. If I were to tap on this I can select it and you can see it selects the writing that's there. I can tap on it again and I can do a bunch of different things. One of the things I can do is copy as text. So if I copy as text and then I go to another app say I could paste it in. I'll just paste it here in Notes. You can see it knows what I wrote even though it left it there as a regular drawing. 
So if you have better handwriting than me, you could write out your notes, leave it in your own handwriting, and know you could still copy it and paste it as regular text. And now one important thing to note is there are two requirements for using Scribble. The first, of course, is you need to have the latest version of iPad OS. This is a new feature of iPad OS 14. So you have to have that. The second, of course, is you have to have an Apple Pencil. So older iPads, of course, don't support the Apple Pencil and you can't just use any old stylus. The Apple Pencil is a special thing. It communicates in a special way with the iPad. So it only works if you've got the original Apple Pencil, which I've got, or the second generation one that they sell now. So and finally, as I mentioned, you could use this anywhere. So for instance, if I wanted to search on a website and there's a search field at the top, I could certainly write in it instead of actually typing. Or if there's a form you need to fill out, you can use this to fill out the form. So I don't think this is for everyone. For someone like me, I'm more comfortable typing on the screen, of course. But there's still a lot of people that do enjoy writing. And the Apple Pencil with an iPad certainly has a very superior feel. If you've only ever used a regular stylus on a regular touch screen, then you're not really getting how the Apple Pencil feels when you write. It feels like it's a big step closer to actually writing or drawing on paper. So once you've upgraded to iPad OS 14, check this out if you've got an Apple Pencil. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.